guys, welcome back to Wayne's Cave, UK's number one Astro channel. So I'm going to talk power management. I promised it was coming up. I was just waiting for a few more bits and bobs, hardware wiring, just a couple of bits and pieces to finally sort out my power management. This, we've all seen this multiple socket power sockets and extension cords. We're gonna ditch these um, DC power supply sockets. There's four here that I use. So we're gonna get that gone, get this little fella riding on board the telescope. And this is an eight channel wind camp power pole splitter. So we've got an input, a DC input, and then seven DC outputs. So wish me luck. I'm going to start getting some wiring out, get me wire cutters, uh, me bits and pieces sorted out, uh, and then that will save an awful lot of setup time. It'll all, all be preset. I'll just need one one power point to plug in once the the scope's sitting on the mount and be up and running. Uh, yeah, in no time at all. Okay guys, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So guys, we've got some of this stuff laid out ready. Um, obviously the DC splitter there that's supplying the power. Uh, we've got reels of wire, cutters and strippers and crimpers. Um, and the, these things, <clears throat> because the little Raspberry Pi computer and, and, and a lot of um, micro computers that people use riding on rigs they're usually um, a lower voltage uh, and like my Raspberry Pi is 5 volts 3 amp so um, this thing just uh, steps down the 12 volts that uh, comes out of the splitter here steps it down to 5 volts uh, so that I've got two of those one for the Raspberry Pi and another one in here uh, for the powered USB hub. We'll get started. I'm going to measure out some wire here to begin with. Um, I'm, I probably could get away with this, but this flimsy gauge, I'm just not going to trust it. But lo and behold, I found some beautiful donor wire from. Uh, so I've got some old DC cable in here which is plenty plenty thick enough and, and here so I've uh, so with the connectors here these pole connectors which obviously we need to plug our wiring into we've got some here we've got the actual contacts um, which we crimp on I've done one here look they're quite straightforward um, I've stripped the wire and I've crimped on one connector and uh, in fact I think I said I was going to put a black one on here and then it you, you can soon suss out what needs to go where when you look in the end of these connectors because there's a, a little spring plate in there which is pushing which is aimed at pushing this connection in, in a direction so that it snaps into position. The other thing to bear in mind, guys, hardware, nine times out of ten, you'll see it will say next to the little DC plug socket in on the back of your camera or whatever it is, that is a 12 volt DC input. There'll be a little diagram of an outer ring and a dot in the middle, and it'll display a positive and negative. In other words, whether it's center positive. So you'll see a line come from the, the centre dot on, on said diagram. It's ever so small and subtle usually. I believe they are on the ZWO cameras because I did, uh, obviously I've been investigating that. Um, so yeah, nine times out of 10, most stuff centre positive, but you do get the odd centre negative. It, the tongue comes out and just snaps over 
because the, the, the end of the terminal is actually got a downturn that, that sits over the, the pressure plate in here. You hear a click. It's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, sussing out which, which fits in which. Yes, there we go. That's numero uno. Right, I'm gonna grab some water, I'll be back. Oh, my knees. <coughs> First power supply uh, for a, this is for the main imaging camera, and here is an example of uh, the 12 voltage um, step down to, to 5 volts 3 amps. I've put two of these connectors on the positive and negative input side because our 12 volts comes in, and this is our. Uh, positive negative at 5 volts 3 amps right well I'll uh, get measuring and cutting and I'll catch up with you in a bit for the USB hub and one for the Raspberry Pi, both powered by two ports from the 12 volt splitter and then we have a slightly longer one is the main imaging camera, another one for the focus cube and another one for can't remember, and another one for the Juvi for the 12 volt step down um, units here. Right. It's the blooming tough stuff, but it works like a dream. Wired it in and neatly. With some real heavy duty Velcro, that's not going anywhere. Look, it's as sturdy as anything units ready to be plugged in so I'm just gonna mount it now for the first time onto the scope and, and, and uh, see what sort of uh, organized spaghetti junction we can come up top here we've got our two converted 5 volt outlets one to the our USB hub down here the USB um, ports are actually in the opposite side facing me and the second one which is here going into our, our Stellar Mate so I've got a USB hub here uh, with a stalemate riding. These are very plastic, lightweight, don't weigh anything. All I've got to do is obviously put the correct fuses in uh, for the correct ampage of, of the equipment. Just put one Velcro strap on this bunch here. And that's nice and secure. And I've included the Pegasus Astro focus cube uh, weather sensor just hanging in there 
and yes so them two are the two 5 volt outlets and I've got the two 12 volt outlets one to the focus cube just here and another one just running along the focus draw to the back of Astro camera and at the front here I've just got one as I said before the DC going into my the large juice strap which is just there that just tucks underneath my handmade uh, mounting bracket so it's all looking relatively good um, I'm looking forward to giving it a dry test run of course um, the only other thing that uh, I, I sort of add to this bar the USB cables of course our scope is living the high life of uh, warmth and luxury out there and um, and, that, and that's it yeah it's just um, tidying up cables quite nicely well do I just um, spin you around this side uh, and give you a quick quick look oh, oh, I'll be back so there we go one power straight to the back of our ZWO camera into the uh, splitter box we've got the um, so we've got our USB and, and Raspberry Pi the focus cube all just riding nicely on the focus draw but then and round the back here now we've got all the all the USB ports for the filter wheel camera, guide camera and uh, EQ mod cable that goes from this, this powered hub to the uh, EQ6R Pro mount so that then leaves just all I need is, is one cable uh, from this lot go into the ground so everything has its own port feeding the equipment and then this cable here is the actual power feed in that's plugged in just there look that's the in and all these all these are, are out obviously um, so then that leaves just one cable and down to the ground, which in this case is just on the bench here, to my um, DC power outlet. So, and this is providing plenty of ampage. It's, it would provide up to 20 amps. I think at a push, if everything burning fully, 10, 12 amps. And then if I eventually actually hook up the power from that to my mount head because I'm, I'm, I'm actually powering my, my EQ6R Pro um, direct from a battery on its own cable because I'm not brave enough to cut that one yet <laughs> um, but yeah um, looking forward to it I'm glad to see just one cable coming to the ground so that's it guys um, I mean is that, it literally is as simple as that bit of time cutting and measuring some positive and negative terminals obviously um, and it, it's sitting on there nicely well guys it's been quite a uh, fun interesting uh, afternoon of tinkering with the rig um, with the constant twilight approaching here in the UK getting your teeth stuck into little tweaks on the rig and um, anything to help set up and your procedure and getting out there and doing the magical bit of actually taking them beautiful pictures is always a plus um, so I hope you found that interesting hope you guys can keep on improving and tweaking your setups and I hope it's given you some 
bit of hope and inspiration that some of these little DIY projects are, you know, well worth undertaking yourselves and get the old grey matter ticking over and problem solving and one thing or other. It's all part of the fun. Out with the old, multiple wires, and in with the new. Hopefully, I'll see you out there. See you out there with all this up and running. And the clear skies soon.